man. Slow down. We'll get there. Sheep outnumber the population of Wales by a ratio of three to one. All those voluptuous valleys, home to 138 Welsh male voice choirs and two and a half thousand teensy weensy little villages. Hello, Mrs. Llewellyn. Oh, hello, David. And what can I do you for today? I'll have a quarter of bonbons and a copy of Gay Times, please. It's my only outlet. Is it not on the rack, love? I couldn't see it. Well, it must have gone then. I'm sorry? You only get the one in for you, so I imagine somebody must have bought it. I don't think so. I think you'll find I am the only gay in this village. Oh, I remember. Somebody definitely came and bought it yesterday. It's got Hazel Dean in it and a very informative article on rimming. No, I think I relate. Like years ago, now traditionally this is a miners' vill a mining village, so everybody would have been, you know, miners basically. But now. It's just a t like a typical Welsh village, you know, we've got our own rugby team, and, you know, so we do, you know, lots of like games between the different villages and things. I didn't play rugby ever in the village or anything, but that's because, I don't know, they're very, very much in this village, you know. There's lots of sort of things that go on, like you have Merched de Wawr, which is like um, a women's union, whatever, and a lot of the old days sort of go there to do stained glass windows and sugar craft and you know, stuff like that, which is really, you know, it's good. And they have, like, the old age sort of do things. You know, they have, they meet in the, the rugby club and have their meetings and discuss different things. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, for me, I mean, I was different. For example, my sister and I went to the Welsh school. The majority of the people in this village went to the sort of English school here. So automatically, in Harris and I were different. Um, and I'm gay, and it was, you know, it, it didn't matter where I went. Like, if I walked through the village, you know, people would say things or, you know, I've even been spat at and, you know, had things thrown at me, which is just vile. But um, it was all right. You know, if I had to raise children, this would be the perfect place to raise children because they're so safe, so, so friendly, so nice, as long as you're not different, you know? Money to one of them now, is it? Right. They put up local people in the calendar so that they can try and make a bit of money up. Yeah. That's um, Derek Pittard, isn't that's it? That's it, yeah. And that's that builder, Sc Barry Scully. Barry Scully, yeah. Uh -huh. 